Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ in front of you. So you have to say what is the major product of this reaction. For your help, four options are provided and one of them is the right answer. So you, I request you student, please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. And don't worry, after some time, get the right answer with proper explanation. I believe you have tried by yourself, it's my turn to give you the right answer. Look at the problem little more carefully, student. So this is actually a phosphonium bromide salt. First step, it is written, it is treated with butyl lithium in presence of anhydrous argon. Uh, obviously, it will, it may destroy the reagent, butyl lithium reagent. And second step, this is a unique molecule. I guess you may be confused. So for your understanding, I have provided the structure of this reagent here. This is nothing but a Venreb amide of formic acid. By the way, I have already discussed a dedicated lecture for this Venreb amide. Please visit if you have any doubt. So this is a very good reagent for carbonyl group preparation. Okay. So let's uh, start the mechanism. Now, if you look at the mechanism, so this is actually a phosphonium bromide salt. We know when this phosphonium bromide is treated with very strong bases like butyl lithium. So this butyl anion abstract this proton and ultimately it generates an elide. Elide actually carbon ion it generates and these car since this carbon is adjacent to this triphenyl phosphonium cation means positive negative uh, together. So that's why this is called elide. Okay. Some places you can see this structure in this way also, both are correct student. So this is with and here this is with double bond triphenyl phosphine and no charge, both are correct. But uh, this negative charge thing explains more about the nucleophilic character of elide that's why I have shown here. Now it reacts second time with this Venreb amide. Actually this Venreb amide reacts with uh, any carbon ion derivative, for example, uh, this butyl lithium or uh, RMGX, it produces ketone. So, sorry, carbonyl derivative. Since I have taken uh, formic acid derivative, so it will uh, result in aldehyde. This is the very easy way, very easy thing if you understand. So, you can understand that directly it will be converted into this aldehyde fine by the way there may be a confusion that sir we have studied that when amide results in ketone with reaction of carbon ions but why it's aldehyde because student this side we have taken for make acid derivative so that's why this is aldehyde not only that so this thing is actually pretty sure no issue but but if you think it from a different angle different angle means actually these uh, um, uh, problem where I have taken this also explained in this way. So different angle if I say so it this this is actually a carbonyl means this is a carbon ion and you can consider this is a carbonyl. We know butic reagent reacts with carbonyl derivative and produce alkene. So you can consider this is the alkene preparation and this is not a simple alkene this is an enamine derivative but I have already discussed a dedicated lecture on enamine 2. Now, these enamine derivative which will undergo hydrolysis, hydrolysis with this acidic water and ultimately it will produce this part which is nothing but enol. So these enol will undergo tautomerism, this is keto enol tautomerism and the equilibrium is student actually prefers towards this keto side or here actually it is aldehyde side because keto is more stable than enol. So this is the product. So both way you can come to the right answer, whatever you wish. Now key steps and name reaction associated here. First step is actually Wittig reagent generation. So this is Wittig reagent generation or elide generation more ac uh, accurately if I say. And second is Wittig reaction and third is enamine hydrolysis and fourth is ketoenol tautomerism. By the way student, my personal opinion if you ask, I will go that okay. This is a carbon ion derivative, it is an actually this venrebamide, directly it will produce this aldehyde derivative. I will not go this method but since that book is, since that manuscript has given this explanation, I have explained. So this is the thing. 
now let's come to the question end what is the right answer obviously the right answer is option c now if this question appears in your exam less than 30 seconds how can you solve first of all student i need to remind you few things read name reaction very very carefully and how these reagents are generated how vitic reagents are generated try first if you look at this ph this cl is treated with triphenylphosphine which is actually a better nucleophile so through sn2 type reaction sorry here should be bromide because it's a bromide salt so it will attack it will leave so after that how this elide is generated by treatment with butyl lithium and remember dry or anhydrous reaction condition or anhydrous means this uh, argon like inert gas are is essential for this otherwise if moisture is present in the gas that may quench some amount of this organometallic reagent or this produced elide too which will eventually decrease in the yield of the product so we understand about this elide generation and third point you should read about when revamide it's a very good reagent i've already discussed a dedicated lecture if you know this i'll think you can very easily come to this but if you don't know it is actually difficult student so in this case if you look at there are some illogical options what do i mean so para position aromatic electrolytic substitution formylation no no i haven't taken any such kind of reagent not ortho similar no now reaction will happen on this carbonyl so either it could be c or option d c option d acid amide i haven't taken any reagent i have taken when amide so it means that this bond is broken so for that purpose obviously any reducing agent needed but i didn't provide any reducing agent so option d is also gone so if you think from that back calculation point of view it will come to you will come to the right answer too but i always suggest student read as much as you can okay so in conclusion what you have learned today that vitic reagent or phosphoracylide is generated by treatment of this phosphonium salt with strong bases like LDA or butyl lithium etc and the elide is nucleophilic in nature and it attacks carbonyl group which results in alkene or if you think that when revamide this when revamide results in carbonyl preparation by reaction with strong carbon ion like RLI RMGX etc although although elide is not that much strong but you may think for your understanding or you may force it this language this uh, mechanism now the driving force for vitic reaction is the preparation of stable phosphorus oxygen bond which from reactive intermediate i mean elide and this phosphorus oxygen bond is significantly stable due to d pi p pi back bonding what do i mean this is phosphorus this is oxygen so you can see phosphorus has vacant d orbital fine and oxygen has filled p orbital so oxygen can delocalize some of its electron density to the vacant orbital of phosphorus in this way the phosphorus oxygen bond has multiple bond character and more the bond correct more the multiple bond character more is the strength of this bond that's why phosphor oxygen bond is very stable and finally keto enol tautomerism favors to the keto side due to the enhanced stability of carbonyl group compared to enol because c double bond o is more stable compared to the corresponding enol that's why it's preferred and equilibrium almost goes to the keto side unless there are some very specific unique stabilization there and this is the reference you can go or if you go to this example you may visit to the cross reference you'll get the exact you may get the exact paper also okay so whatever uh, so please visit this reference for better understanding if you have any doubt so this is the end of this question i thanks everyone for watching if you really enjoy the content of my channel please help this channel to grow and you may visit two of my other channels so stay happy stay blessed see you in my next video bye bye